Howdy, hotshots. Beaming to you from Not a Financial Advisor land with Not Financial Advice. It's Kevin with Earth 2 Mastery, one of your top 43.547 favorite digital investment YouTubers. All right, guys. So grab your little flash action figure because if you do these things, your money will disappear fast. All right, guys. Today, we're going to talk about some scams that are going on, give you a few tips to avoid the scams, uh, let you know that I think possibly you should just be waiting for the marketplace to open uh, if there's not some kind of impending reason why you need to get these do deals done right now. Um, but I'll give you a couple tips on how to get past the scams as well, or at least the best you can do to avoid them. Here we are on token.vv.me. Somebody was concerned in one of the groups that I was looking through that omi.vv.me was a scam site. Uh, there are some scam sites. I'll show you one in a little bit. Um, but anything that's vv.me is an official site. Uh, so vv.me is vv's official website uh, outside of their app. So anything that is on vv.me should be safe. Now, I can't guarantee that myself because I haven't done uh, because I haven't done all of the coding and everything, and I'm not smart enough to figure that out. But it is the official website. Okay, guys. So here's our reserve wallet balance. It hasn't changed. 295 billion. Vault wallet balance 41 billion and burn wallet balance uh, 3 billion 723 million. That stuff's not going to change because the market's not open. There's no transactions going on. Uh, so until the marketplace opens back up and we've got some transactions going, I don't think those numbers are going to change. That should be, hopefully, uh, they said we get an update by Monday. I'm hoping that means that the market will be open by Monday, but we saw last time how long it took them to get the marketplace back open. So who really knows? Uh, let's take a look at the Comey price. It might be suffering a little bit because the market is closed. It's down about 6.9% today. I did just buy, uh, I only had enough money for like another thousand uh, Ecomi. So I did buy that. I bought it on Bit4X. Bit4X is still the biggest uh, market for Ecomi with a 24 hour volume of over 4 million. That's got 52% of the market. Uh, if you want to trade on Bit4X, I've got a discount code in the description down below and probably pinned to the top comment. Get you 30% off of your trading fees. I have had good experience with Bit4X. Uh, they even helped me out when, when Coinbase jacked me. But I have had some people come and tell me that Bit4X uh, has stolen their money. I don't know how, um, but I can't vouch for everybody else's experience, only my own. That goes uh, That goes with all of these Scams that are getting run too. Okay, so uh, somebody in my VV uh, collectible trading post group and a subscriber here really hooked me up. Uh, they knew that I wasn't able to make the drop with the Ultraman 2D. And so they gave me a cup. They sent me just out of the blue. Uh, they sent me a couple 2D collectibles. So I got those in my vault now on display with my uh, common Ultraman that I have, uh, that I was able to trade for in the VV Collectible Trading Group. So uh, that was really cool. Um, it's just a couple members in the group helping me out, but I, I was just really stoked to see these in my account. I had to go looking around to see who had sent them, and I was really excited about that. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you for these Ultraman 2Ds. I didn't think I was going to be able to get them, especially when the market wasn't opening back up, so I couldn't even see how much they were going for. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I've got a, a message here that lucky number Slevin, Slevin sent me uh, through Telegram and he was, uh, Gary V was tweeting, guess what day and month I'm thinking. It's kind of a creepy picture there. Now I know some people think that uh, some of my intros and outros and stuff were a little cringe, so I can't give Gary V too much grief. He's obviously great at what he does. He's big into NFTs. He's been talking about them for a while. He's a visionary and sees where they're going. Uh, so he says, guess what day and month I'm thinking. And Vivi comes along with 5-5. Five, five. Now, uh, Mr. Slevin had the bright idea that 5-5 five, five turned into a Roman numeral was VV. So are they, dropping, <laughs> are they dropping hints or are they just trying to get Gary V on board? I don't know, but it is a pretty interesting topic uh, there that Slevin came up with. So that's pretty cool. Um, I wanted to, I went through the groups that I know of, groups on, on Facebook, groups on Discord, groups on 
um, Telegram, there's groups everywhere, any kind of social outlet that you can find, there's groups. And I just wanted to grab a few snapshots to show you that people are getting scammed. Don't be, one of my friends today, a, pers a person that I know actually got scammed out of 160 gems. And so I thought, you know what, this is uh, the perfect opportunity for me to make a video trying to help people that are uh, watching keep from getting scammed. Uh, this guy right here, uh, hey, hey, I guess is his name. I just got scammed out of 770 gems by two people who are surely one and only one. Now, they could be working in teams. It could be two different accounts with one person. I don't know, but be careful. Uh, let's see what happened to him. He says that one of them made the escrow to buy him gems. David was the buyer. He supposedly paid Kevin USDT, and then he sent the gems to David. But he didn't receive the USDT, and then they blocked him. So... You know, I, I don't I don't quite understand the mechanics of that. I don't know if they were both sending to uh, David and then David was supposed to distribute them or if David just sent the um, USDT to Kevin or Kev. Not me. It's not me. Gag can vouch for me. I got vouches from Gag. Okay. She was out there. I had to come into this room because she's watching her telenovelas too loud. I don't need that chatter in the background. Uh, Kev made the escrow to buy him gems. I don't know. Maybe Kev stole the money. Maybe David stole the money. Maybe both of them stole the money. I don't know. Uh, who, you know, it doesn't really matter who stole the money from him. The, the people are getting scammed. So, you know, use somebody reputable for your escrows if you are going to do something outside of VV. But I would recommend just doing everything possible within the VV app. Uh, here's somebody that says if you see uh, first appearance 5696 on the market it's a stolen asset they've got a picture of their ultraman 7 here um vv user patrick mahomes scammed him do not buy and don't do deals with him i'm working now i i have to i cannot vouch for whether these people are actual scammers or not uh i was not involved in these transactions even if somebody doesn't scam you once it doesn't mean they won't scam you the next time um, there's something called an exit scam where they build up trust in the community and then they gather up a bunch of collectibles, a bunch of gems, a bunch of Omi, and then all of a sudden they're out. It's basically, uh, the same idea as a rug pull, right? You get people's confidence, you get a bunch of assets and then you disappear. Uh, so that now I don't know if the VV app is going to be able to help people because they can track all of this through their app because it's not like this doesn't leave a bread trail, a breadcrumb trail. But then do they have the assets and the manpower to be investigating all of these situations? I don't think they do. So I, I, I kind of feel like these people are just going to be out. Um, anyway, he also lost another common Ultraman and many others had similar problems. This guy says use an escrow agent or middleman that you have researched, okay? But that's that goes back to the idea that I'm telling you about with like a rug pull where maybe this guy does escrows every day for a couple of weeks, gets a bunch of people to vouch for him. Now all of a sudden he's got, you know, $25,000 worth of collectibles in escrow and he disappears. So you, you just really don't know until the deal is done, guys. Um, this guy right here was trying to scam people. Uh, I can I feel safe saying that he was because they called him a scammer and then he basically said he lost thousands of so he's just taking back what the world owes him. So he feels justified in being a scammer because he got scammed, supposedly. I don't know. That's just what he says. Um, here's Nick uh, Lepar, I guess is how you pronounce it, says uh, he was commenting on this guy over here, says he basically admitted he scammed that guy because he allegedly got scammed before. But he's saying that he lost his Ultraman 7 on the first drop day to somebody else, Bala Gat Rat, whoever that is, and never once said, I'm gonna return the favor to someone else who did. So he's basically saying it's not fair that just because this guy got scammed that he's scamming other people. I agree 100%. Um, but these people are posting names and you know, those names can be changed. Here's Kyle McGee, uh, says scam warming. This is this is not a scam by another user. It's a scam by somebody that listed this VV.exchange. I showed you the official website is, uh, let me pull it down here so you can see it. It's vv.me, okay? That's the official website is vv.me. So if it doesn't say vv.me, it's not an official website. This is vv.exchange. That's not an official website. So I got, I personally got added to a group on Telegram where they were trying to say if I sent my OMI to, if I sent my OMI that I would get it back with a bonus. Basically, kind of a fake staking scam. 
but I was like, what, what is this all of a sudden? There's like people infiltrated the Comey group and all they're doing is posting scams because I could tell by the responses that it was like all just bots or something talking about how great their experience was and how much Omi they got back. Uh, and so then I started checking and I was like, oh, this doesn't have the same amount of users as the Comey group that I'm always in. So basically they had copied the Comey group uh, enough so that just at first glance, it looked like you were in the regular Ecomi Telegram group, but then they had um, added people to it without them knowing. And so when you went in there, you weren't in the actual Ecomi group. So I reported it as spam and I blocked it, uh, but that's just something that's happening. Um, here is on Discord, this is Espo, and they're the ones that helped out my friend uh, my friend, this is him. He got scammed for 160 gems trying to buy a mm, Jim Lee Joker, I think he said he was trying to buy um, from, you can't see the guy's username that he was talking to because the guy blocked him and then changed his name right away. So I actually don't even have the username from the person that scammed him. But this Espo in uh, Discord helped him get the guy kicked out of the official group. Now that doesn't mean that he can't do another uh, account and get in there but shout out to espo for helping my buddy out um and espo was going to do a an escrow for him too on something else but uh you know i appreciate espo but i can't i can't vouch for anybody myself because uh other than people in the group that i've added on my vv collectible trading group i can vouch for the fact that my experience with them was good but obviously i can't say that they aren't going to just build up a reputation and then scam somebody else. It's just unfortunate, but online you, you never know when that's going to happen. I mean, I've been scammed a couple times over the years too. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. I did, I searched for the word scam in the official telegram and I just wanted to show you guys, it came back with 2,842 results. So all of those, all of those results are not necessarily talking about getting scammed on VV, but they're talking about the scams where they're trying to do fake OMI scams, fake airdrop scams. They're talking about other coin scams. So there is some other stuff mixed up in there, but that's a you know that's almost a few thousand mentions of the word scam just in the Telegram group. That doesn't even count Discord and Facebook. Uh, here is a scam that I wanted to show you. Clara from Amazix. Now, Amazix it, are the admins on the Telegram. I don't know if you could just go in there and make your name Amazix either. So don't trust any of them either. Don't trust anybody with any of your passwords, any of your gems, any of your Ecomi. If they contact you first and try to tell you about some special event, it's not happening, guys. It just doesn't work. Um, so this Claire at Amazing said, alert, there's an airdrop scam, a giveaway scam. There's a fake Ecomi group adding people into it. Okay, that's the one that got me. Uh, I didn't do anything with it. I just canceled it and blocked it. But at first, I was confused. Uh, this is the only official group. There are no airdrops and no free giveaways. And here's somebody else says, remain vigilant. And beware of scammers. People are creating names to look like us. Oh, that's what I was talking about, the uh, Mazix. If they ask for funds or private account details, don't send them. No one from Ecomi or Amazix will ever send you a DM requesting funds or private information regarding your identity or wallet account. There is no airdrop. If you receive a private message for someone claiming to represent Ecomi or Amazix, please forward their message to Amazix mod bot to verify their identity. Okay, I wouldn't trust it even after that. You, it's, they're just not going to message you. Why would they message you? They're not going to. Uh, here's somebody here. This oh oh, I wanted to show you this website because that was that omi.exchange or ecomi.exchange, whatever it was, was a fake one. And then there's this omi-ecomi.com. That's a scam too. Uh, so there's just a lot of scams going on out there, guys. I would use official websites as much as you possibly can. I know some of you just want to cash out and they don't have a gem to Omi conversion yet. And so you're just running the risk. You know, you're running the risk of getting scammed. And anybody that's dealing with those people is running the risk of getting scammed too. So, I mean, as long as you go into it knowing that, if you do get scammed, then, I mean, it was a, at least it was a conscious decision. And, you know, this is my warning for you. Um, but... I, there is a uh, Chris over at VV Vault. I was going to tell you about his giveaway last time. I did get it in the description, but because my camera froze, I didn't get it uh, into the video. But he's doing a common Ultraman uh, giveaway, and he had that hidden at the very last bit of his video, even after his outro. So go on over to his channel and check that out and get yourself entered to win a common Ultraman. Uh, I did get entered, so, you know, I mean, I would be happy to get a common Ultraman too. So shout out to Chris for that giveaway. And hopefully, 
uh, well, somebody from this channel wins it. I mean, I'd like to see that happen. I want to see you guys get everything. Okay, guys, so get to sub it, sub it, sub it, sub it.